We got nearly 200 components that need finishing and our workspace is too small. That's when a paint drying rack comes to the rescue. Instead of spreading the parts all over the workshop, we could stack them vertically in the rack, save space in the shop and make our work more efficient. Since we have strict deadlines for the project, we have to make the drying rack quickly and with the materials available in our workshop. Before we dive into cutting the material, let's design our rack. The idea I had in mind was simple, designing a simple side component, copying and pasting it and making these joining elements. These would join both sides together and prevent the rack from falling apart. After nesting the parts on the plywood sheet, I soon realized the solution wouldn't be the most efficient way to make the rack and I decided to make the shelves and the frame as separate components. It would be more efficient in terms of material usage. It would also allow me to rearrange the shelves when finishing bigger components. I used the dovetail joints to join the shelves to the frame. I wasn't sure if the 12mm plywood I had would be thick enough for the rack. Anyway, I didn't have much time to spend wandering. So I went to load the plywood on the CNC router and started cutting the first parts. Everybody knows that compression router bits are the best when cutting a laminated sheet of plywood. The upcut tip of the bit prevents any tear out from the bottom of the sheet, providing neat and clean cut edges. The only problem was I didn't have one. So I used a 3mm straight flute bit when cutting the components. The cuts on the top surface looked great but the quality of the bottom surface was unclear before removing the first components from the CNC router. And surprisingly, the bottom edges were tear out free as well. It gave me the confidence to cut the remaining parts. While the CNC was doing its thing, I trimmed the edges of each component. If I was using regular plywood for this project, I might have skipped the trimming. But since the edges of the laminated plywood are sharp enough to cut your hands, I had to trim all of the edges. I simply had no time for the injuries. Anyway, when all of the parts were done, I could assemble the paint drying rack. As the first step, I attached the back components to the frame parts and secured them in place with a couple of screws. I had to be sure the joints wouldn't come apart. Then I could do the same to the frame's legs. And now it was just a matter of attaching the shelf parts to the frame. This was easy. I would say too easy. The joints weren't as tight as I would have liked them to be. After a quick troubleshooting, I realized the bit I was using when cutting the project was 1 8 of an inch in diameter instead of 3 mm. This meant there was a 0.12 mm offset that made the part slightly smaller and the dovetail joints looser. And some of the racks were moving around in the joint. But it won't affect the functionality of the paint drying rack since the parts would apply the pressure to the shelves from the top, not the sides. Anyway, the paint drying rack was complete and it was time to test it out. So I applied the finish to the components and placed them on the drying racks, starting from the bottom and going to the top. The racks performed brilliantly and we saved valuable workshop space. Since I had so many parts to apply finish to, one rack wasn't enough, so I made another one. By the time I had filled both drying racks, the parts I had worked on first had already dried and I could apply the finish to the other side. While applying the finish to the project, I thought of ways to improve the paint drying rack. If I had to make more racks for my workshop, I would probably use slightly thicker plywood, perhaps 15 or 18 millimeters thick. Then I would make the frames a bit bulkier and decrease the distance between the shelves. Most importantly, I would add another leg joining component so it would be possible to attach the casters at the bottom, making the rack easier to move around. To make a paint drying rack for your workshop, you can get the upgraded CNC files for it at theribobox.com. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.